The presence of iron and manganese in the water is not desirable as they can cause coloration and an unpleasant taste. But as iron and manganese are present in nature, they can dissolve in water and be present in higher concentrations. So many times it is necessary to remove them. But how can we do this? And what are the effects of excess iron and manganese on our health? 60 to 70 percent of our body weight is made up of water, which is of the utmost importance for our quality of life. In addition to regulating our internal temperature, water is essential for the functioning of our body. The excess of iron and manganese in the water, in addition to affecting its taste and causing coloration in this water, can harm our health. Excess iron is stored in our organs, liver, pancreas, heart, and can cause serious liver diseases. These diseases need to be identified early so they can be treated. Other problems caused by excess iron are an increased risk of heart disease and a worsening of the effects of bad cholesterol. Excess manganese can also cause health problems for humans by damaging the central nervous system and liver. Some symptoms observed are muscle stiffness, hand tremors, and weakness. Iron is present in nature mainly in the form of oxide or hydroxide, as iron ore, and it is the fourth most abundant element on Earth. Manganese is the twelfth most abundant element on Earth. It is mainly found as oxides, hydroxides, silicates, and carbonates in nature. When water seeps into the ground and through rocks, it comes into contact with different elements that can dissolve in it. Thus, iron and manganese can dissolve in water and become part of its composition. Generally, high concentrations of iron and manganese are not observed in surface waters, since the high concentrations of oxygen present cause oxidation of iron and manganese, which pass into the solid phase, sedimenting. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This way we can continue to make new videos for you. When the oxygen content and pH are low, which occurs in deep wells and in some springs, the water becomes translucent even with the presence of iron and manganese, which may be dissolved in the water. If this water is exposed to air, there will be a reaction of these metals with oxygen, that is, there will be oxidation, with the formation of colored compounds that settle. See the reactions that occur. When iron oxidizes, the reddish-brown ferric oxide is formed. Already in the oxidation of manganese, there will be the formation of a dark color oxide. To remove iron and manganese from water, the simplest method is to carry out oxidation, which can occur through water aeration, which will cause the formation of solids. For waters with iron concentrations greater than 5 mg per liter, aeration followed by filtration is a good low-cost alternative. There are different types of aerators that can be used, such as cascade, diffused air, mechanical stirrers, trays, and spray nozzles. The aeration is followed by filtration to remove the solid compounds. See the treatment sequence for iron and manganese removal. If you liked the video, leave your like, and don't forget to subscribe. This is really important so we can make more videos for you.